Greetings from Olympia. I am Luann Van Werven, your state representative from Whatcom County's beautiful 42nd Legislative District. I want to thank you for sending me to Olympia to represent you for a second term. As I stood on the floor of the House of Representatives during swearing-in ceremonies, once again I felt humbled but also honored and privileged to represent the communities of Whatcom County. I will be serving on three committees again this session. However, two of my three committee assignments have changed from my first term, but they are positive changes. I will continue to serve on the House Higher Education Committee, but now as an assistant ranking Republican, meaning I will be one of the lead voices for the Republican caucus on the committee. I am excited to be serving on this committee again as I continue to work on a number of higher education issues like college affordability, degree completion, supplying a strategic and educated workforce for Washington employers, and most importantly, empowering individuals to reach a level of self-sufficiency in order to achieve personal success. I want to be a strong voice for our higher education institutions and the rich and diverse opportunities that they provide. In addition to the Higher Education Committee, I have also been appointed to the House Public Safety Committee and the House Transportation Committee. My public safety appointment falls in line with the work that I am doing on the Task Force Against Human Trafficking. As a member of the Transportation Committee, I welcome the challenge of prioritizing the many infrastructure and transportation needs in Washington and Whatcom County. Every odd-numbered year, lawmakers must create a new two-year budget. The focus of this year's budget will, of course, be our K-12 education funding obligation based on the state's Supreme Court McCleary rulings. It could be a tough budget debate. When the governor unveiled his budget proposal in December, he proposed $5.3 billion in tax increases in the first two years alone. He is proposing new taxes on capital gains, carbon emissions, as well as a 20% increase in the state's business and occupation tax. And he wants to roll back tax incentives on bottled waters and refineries. These proposals have already failed to gain the support of the legislature in recent sessions, or they have been turned down by the voters, sometimes more than once. The governor's proposal was surprising, as you, the taxpayer, have already been sending plenty of money to Olympia. We are expecting an increase of $2.6 billion in tax revenue for our next budget. That's right, revenue from the taxes you pay is projected to be up 6.7% for our next budget cycle. Most families would be thrilled to see an increase of almost 7% of their income. I expect we will see different proposals from the Senate and House majority parties as this session progresses. Please feel free to contact me during the session if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about legislation before us. Your feedback is important to me. I've already had visits from quite a few Whatcom County folks and I invite you to come and visit if you have not yet had that opportunity. Contact my office in advance so we can set up a meeting. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this update from Olympia.